Okay, so it is 8.38 in the morning um, and we just had a little snowfall last night. Um, honestly, I went out there, it looks like no more than an inch, probably less than an inch to be honest. Um, what I tell my customers is that I come out for an inch or more. Um, so honestly, this is probably like a centimeter. Um, like half a half an inch. But everything is covered and everybody's out here shoveling and stuff. And I kind of like to under promise and over deliver. So I say I come out in an inch, but then I come out for half an inch, you know. So I'm, I'm exceeding the customer's expectations that way. Um, and I just want to do a good job for my customers and, and keep them satisfied. So although I probably don't need to go out today, I am going to go out. I'm going to take care of my driveways. Should be a quick day. Um, I don't think I'll need a snow blower for this. It's very light and fluffy. So I'm just going to go out with a shovel, see how it goes, see how long it takes. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me um, just so you can see how long it takes to do 29 driveways with a shovel um, when it's just light, fluffy, small amount of snow. And just sort of take you on a day in my life as a solo snow removal guy making his living shoveling people's driveways so I'm almost at the first property right now I'm gonna go ahead and get at it it's 840 and uh, yeah let's see how long it takes me to do 29 driveways today just finished that driveway you saw there uh, it took four minutes like I said don't really need to go out today but I like to keep my customers happy and we haven't had any snow in like two weeks so I don't know if you can see that, but that was the second property, and it took me, it would take me five minutes. It took me five minutes to get that property done. And uh, yeah, on to the next one. Let's go. So I just finished the third property. It took me seven minutes. Uh, it took a little longer than it should have because I was trying to, I was messing around with the camera and recording and stuff. Um, so seven minutes to do that one was really easy. The snow is super light, super powdery, just beautiful. Um, easy to do with the shovel. Um, like I said, there's not too much that fell, but there is enough where you get that nice, 
you get that satisfaction of a shoveled driveway. So I just finished the 14th property. It is 1042. Hurt my knuckle at that one there. Um, 14th property done. 15 more to go. And the customer actually came out and gave me a a Christmas card. Let's go see what that's all about. There it is. Christmas card. Oh, look at that. And she gave me a $25 gift card for Tim Hortons. That's awesome. Stuff like that lets you know you're doing a good job. This is why you overpromise and underdeliver. You know, happy customers. This is why I tell the customer I'll come out when it snows an inch or more, and then when it snows half an inch, I go out and take care of it. They are happy when you do stuff like that. This is the proof. So under promise, over deliver. Now, if I didn't go out today, if I decided this wasn't enough snow and I didn't go out, it would have been fine because that's what the customer would have expected anyway, because they would have came out and been like, this is less than an inch, he won't be here. But since I decided to go out, they're gonna see that now and be like, oh, he didn't even need to come and he came. And that makes customers happy. That's how you that's how you under promise and over deliver. And uh, that's how you have happy customers. That's how you get Christmas tips. Yeah. Anyways, on to the second half of my day. How early can I be done? Hmm. Can I finish before one? Can I finish my day before one p.m.? Can I make this a four hour day? Let's find out. hour mark since I first started and I have nine properties left to go which means I've done 20 properties uh, it took me less than three hours to do 20 pro properties I have nine more to go um, see how long it takes it's 1127 um, the next nine are a little bit spread out so a little bit more driving between these ones, but uh, I think I could probably finish the next nine in in an hour, maybe a little bit more. If I can do that in under an hour and a half, then we will be done before one o'clock. It will be done in four hours, 29 properties. Now, like I said before, I'm flying through these because the snow is very easy, it's not very deep, and it's just not that bad. 
I did the same route two weeks ago and it took me seven hours because the snow at that time was slushy and wet and heavy and deeper than it is now. So in the snow removal business, the amount of time you have to work in a day fluctuates depending on how much snow came down. I've done 10 hours before, I've done 12 hours before, but uh, I'd say for me, average four to eight hours. All right, let's see if we can do this before one o'clock. Let's go. So it is 12.45 and I just finished the last property of the day. 29 properties down, zero to go. It is 12.45, which means I believe that this day took me four hours and five minutes. And I did end up finishing before one o'clock, obviously. So there you have it. About four hours and five minutes to do 29 properties at about a centimeter of snow, maybe half an inch of snow, somewhere around there. So I am done for the day, probably done for the week. I haven't worked in two weeks. This is my first day working and it was only a four hour shift. So that is an average day for me doing snow removal residential snow removal so I'm gonna go home get cleaned up grab myself a coffee and some lunch and wait for the next snowstorm so if you have any questions feel free to ask any comments leave them down below thank you very much for watching the video peace